Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action is a game rated M for Mature. Okay, this is getting a bit stale. I'm gonna heat this up even if I have to do it myself. Oh no. We need to drop a cow in here, Miss Bartender. Get me drunk. I don't care how, uh, how. Just do it. Okay. She's asking me to get her drunk no matter what. That's an interesting request. Yeah, I'll say. Okay. <laughs> What's the most expensive drink I have? Uh, 50 to 80. It does have five cardamine, uh, carmotrine. Uh, nine? It is 260. Let's get you all nice, uh, where? 320, three car, nah, that's not exactly. That's still card, uh, just three. Actually, maybe I should look for one that has optional so I can put in a ton. Oh, here we go. Uh, Sunshine Cloud, maybe. Uh, 50, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2. Oh, this is only 80. 9. Fluffy Dream. Hmm. Man, what is this song? Jeez. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, what was the one over here? No, not that one. Uh. Actually, it was Fluffy, right? Fluffy something. Fluffy Dream, here we go. Uh, okay, so three Edelhide, three Powder Delta, uh, Age, and optional. Okay, so she wants to get hammered. She said herself that she wants to get good and drunk. Uh, is this the best idea? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, she said she's the one that wants to get drunk. Okay, all each and all mixed. Okay, let's do it. Fluffy Dream, here you go. Tons and tons of drink. So, lightheadedness, clumsy tongue, palm sweaty, knees weak, arms spaghetti. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs! <laughs> All right. Let's get it on with the lewd stuff. No thanks. First, I'll try to guess your bust size. Oh no. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Hmm, I, I'd say B. Not enough to fill that uh, fill a hand, but not small enough to make you look like a child. <sighs> You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. Don't be like that. I can tell you're a B cop. Your attitude makes me think you're an S, and your behavior makes me think your blood type is B, A, B. So how, how many things did I get right? Who knows? Ah, please let me get on with this. I need to cooperate with this that is going to be a success. Can I ask you something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if uh, you're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24-7. Oh. Eh? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything, seeing the viewer count steadily rise as I take more risks and become more adventurous, it's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Oh, I see. <laughs> Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, you only have to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterwards. Oh, 
boy. Go premium or go home. Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many actually get turned on by that. Oh. Yikes. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything's written here. By being captured on by this camera, you hereby provide consent to, uh, to the use of your face on all material produced by streaming channel LLC. <laughs> I, I see. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, uh, people believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny, though. When you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But learn their name and suddenly they're... Oof. They're a freaking snowflake <laughs> that's better than all the rest. Huh? This is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is that weird? Because I haven't felt this sleepy in quite a some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week? A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? Um. Yep, totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird leg when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyways, I think I'll try to get a nap here before storming off and continuing the night. Feel excuse me. Should I call a cab and risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm going to take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. All right. Who boy. <laughs> Yowza. Holy. Let's save. Uh, right there. It's now safe to keep playing. Thanks, game. I can always count on you. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you forgot, uh, you're forgetting something. All right, uh, let's clear out this whole thing again. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually gonna put on this. Every day is night. Let's put on some chill music. That's not chill. Yeah, sure, that's pretty chill. What's this one's like again? Oh, it's not telling me here. I have to go to the beginning and see from here. Yeah. Drive me wild. Nah. Sure. Gaze that invited. Yeah, sure. I don't think that's uh, one that's uh, chill. I want a chill atmosphere for the bar right now. Sure. Nothing that'll be intense. Ah, yeah, sure. March of the White Knight. No, that's intense. Come on. Uh. Ah, uh, no, I'm fine. Sure. I li I like that song. Uh, town approaches? Sure. Okay. 
We're all ready. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyways. I insist it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like heavy duty tool. You're a heavy duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that. Ah. Oh, welcome back. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what uh, what did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction. Uh, but Betty here says it uh, says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you too. Eh? Uh, do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! <sighs> See, those sounds have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um, who is he? Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know you. Uh, you have more of an... Oh, bleh. I don't know. You have more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for, uh, for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, uh, what the heck? I'll have a beer, too. Two beers coming up. Let's see. Two beers. Beer. One, 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 two, one powdered delta, two flan, and four karma train. Uh, all mixed. All right, next up is another beer. One, one, two, one, ah, a second one, not a second one. And one, two, three, four, mix, stop, serve. Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work, a beer is always the best beer. Yep. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill, that's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim uh, during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here uh, with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Uh, premium. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear, I don't care. 6k people? She calls, uh, she calls herself Streaming Chan, and she's been uh, streaming her life 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So, 6,000 people are watching and hearing us? Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera is against the table. Ha! <laughs> I don't know how many are still in the channel, though. I see. So, will there be a lot more witnesses if, there, uh, if something said? What? Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor change of petty vandalism. Oh, charge. Also, okay. <laughs> what did you do? Painted graffiti outside my high school that, uh, saying, Ooh, yikes. Yeah, that would get you in trouble for vandalism, I would say. Yikes. Why would you do that? Uh, well. She constantly humiliated uh, whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. 
but it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So, how's, uh, how's stuff up in Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer, Far uh, Fa Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy cleaning line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's the textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh, that woman. Oh, yeah, that one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. But anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher-ups some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see, I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis then. Alright, uh, two Brantinis. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six at Edelhide. Three powdered delta, one carmatrine, aged and mixed. Same over here. Three powdered delta, uh, aged, one carmatrine and mixed. Here you go. Here you go. You have such a Wimpy taste in drinks deal. Not all, not all of us spend their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. True. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something's on your mind? That girl that's designing clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cute but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits in, uh, she fits the unkempt cutie uh, category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliched that I can't help but cringe whenever looking at her. Cringe. It's like when you see something that's so cheesy, uh, that's such a cheesy movie cliche. You just feel the need to kick uh, whatever it is. kick. Betty, I don't think I'd have, uh, I don't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I mean, yes. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna kick her. Why do you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently, unprovoked, uh, or due to complicated reasons, only you understand. Fine, guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential and I'm not going to let her waste it. Jill, I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go check on the antenna in on the roof. Oh yeah, no signal. Uh, I mean it's 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 working now. <laughs> Alright. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs were the ones uh, that organized a meeting with her. I'd say she's a real, uh, I'd say, a little bit of their words. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of, the char of her charm. Wow. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight. And at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There's also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. <laughs> that kilt was awesome. <laughs> she has a nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of spectating, uh, uh speculating what some, uh, what someone's personality is based on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually uh, made that sound weird as heck. 
Yes, I have the habit of uh, trying to guess someone's behavior on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You just made it sound like I'm some, uh, I'm some sort of creep. I, I did? What did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although, the way you looked at me when you said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Like you'd, uh, like you'd like to see the scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil, then? Hmm. Mm-hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like, uh... Act like one in a way uh, that consumes the rest of his character. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment may be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have. You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone's <laughs> testosterone into your taste uh, in drinks. Ah, oh boy. You'll thank me later, trust me. Then, two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well, you shut up. Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. Okay. 